My previous video about boob quake garnered a number of interesting responses. One lady in particular wrote in um, because she was a bit angry. Um, as she said, uh, my opinion on the video was different from my opinion on the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe podcast, which went up this past Saturday. She was angry because I mentioned that the cleric who made the original offending comment might just be a perv waiting for women to strip down while he watches. Is Rebecca seriously suggesting that the cleric made this comment anticipating someone would stage a protest wherein women would dress immodestly? Yes. Yes, I seriously believe that. Slightly more interesting was the reaction from Iranians here on YouTube, like Great Gypsy, who wrote, Number one, Iranian women are not conservative. The regime doesn't let them wear whatever they like. Number two, Iranians don't take clerics as serious as you. For them, clerics are sort of stand-up comedy. If they are in power, it doesn't mean they are representative of Persians. Number three, Anyway, it seems whatever this stupid mola say, which is a big disgrace for Persians, is a good excuse for you guys to sell your YouTube videos. I understand how superior genius feeling you have right now. Oh, great gypsy. You've got it all wrong. We here on YouTube aren't just superior to Iranian clerics. We're superior to every boneheaded religious bigot. And they don't have to be Iranian, they don't have to be high-ranking, and they certainly don't need to be taken seriously. Uh, exhibit A, Pat Robertson. I mean, this is the American guy who says things like um, the uh, that Hurricane Katrina, which destroyed New Orleans, was caused by abortions, or that the earthquake in Haiti was because the Haitians made a pact with the devil. I guess what I'm trying to say to Great Gypsy is don't feel that a moron like that cleric is a big disgrace. I mean, he's not. He doesn't have to be. Um, focus more on things that actually are big disgraces, like, I don't know, your first point, that women aren't allowed to wear whatever they like. That's a law enforced by your government, and it's a huge disgrace. And, by the way, it's based on the same pig-headed, inaccurate idea that the cleric was addressing that women's bodies force men to rape them because men have no self-control. And that's why we have to tell women what to wear. That's a big disgrace. And so yes, you know, when it comes to personal freedoms like that, I do feel that the country I live in is superior to Iran. That said, I also feel that the country I live in is currently superior to Belgium, where they recently passed a ban on burqas. Belgian MP Daniel Bacalane said, the idea that you can recognize people in the street is essential to maintaining public order. Bullshit. I'm sorry, who exactly is using a burqa to commit crimes? I mean, has there been a sudden rash of uh, robberies and muggings, suicide bombings, uh, banking scandals uh, that are being committed by gangs of women in burqas? No. Danny goes on to say, it's also a question of human dignity. The full face veil turns a woman into a walking prison. Bullshit again. There is no dignity in a woman who has to be told what she can and cannot wear in public. Just like the shitty, possibly unelected government of Iran, the Belgian government is attempting to control what women wear. You want to fight extremist Muslim views? Start by encouraging people to change what's up here and not what's going on from here down.